Donkey Kong may seem like an ordinary children's game, but what if I told you there was a darker conspiracy behind it? Multiple, in fact. Now, I have quite a lot of evidence to support my theory, so I guess we should just get started with evidence number one. In this clip that I'm showing you, Donkey Kong clearly asks Mario how high he can get, obviously referring to weed, or as Mario later takes it, magic mushrooms. Now, Donkey Kong's weed addiction drove him to do something terrible, something really, really bad. What I am referring to is obviously child abduction. Cranky Kong kidnapped Pauline, a one-year-old. Now you may be wondering, how is Pauline a one-year-old? Well, here I am to answer that. She's clearly one-year-old because she's hanging out with another person and her parents wouldn't leave her at only the age of zero. That would be darn tootin' then stupid and stuff. But she's clearly one-year-old and Mario is also one-year-old. But Donkey Kong couldn't be one-year-old. Because in just a couple years, he becomes Cranky Kong, an old selfish bastard. Don't believe me? Here's the proof. Now that we got all of that out of the way, I can finally move on to my second piece of evidence. Which is in fact, Diddy Kong. This is Diddy Kong's name, and as you can see, the lettering has a D and a K at the start of both of these names. Now as you can see, if we swap the first two letters of each of those names, we get Kitty Dong, an inappropriate joke up by Nintendo. Diddy Kong's name can also be interpreted as Titty Kong, which is also very inappropriate by Nintendo. What if I told you these names weren't a joke, and we're just hinting at something much, much darker? Due to this inappropriate name, I've come to the conclusion that they kidnapped Kitty Dong, and they made him serve as their s personal slave for all their special activities. But now he embraces the Kitty Dong life. But Diddy Kong wasn't the only child that Donkey Kong kidnapped. There was another. Um, the blonde one. I honestly don't know her name and don't give a shit, so I'm not gonna go learn it. I'm gonna call her Little Girl Kong. But as we all know, Donkey Kong had kidnapped another child before this, DK Jr. But it's not the Donkey Kong you're expecting that has been kidnapping the children all along. DK Jr. is that Donkey Kong, and the original is Cranky Kong. I know, that's like two conspiracy levels deep. Now that we know Donkey Kong smokes weed and kidnaps children, we can finally look into the case of what happened after. But sometime after the kidnappings, somebody got Detective Chimp onto the case. And Donkey Kong knew of this. So he quickly grabbed all the children and his little Cranky Kong and fled to the jungle, renaming himself Conky Dong. But the California police got their crocodile compartment on Donkey Kong, but now he resorts to violence and beating them up. Donkey Kong was of course never caught, he's still at large, and all I can ask of you is to be safe and subscribe. But wait, the video's not over, I still have a song to sing to you, so wait right there. <clears throat> okay. Uh, number 15. I'm ready. <laughs> Alright. So they're finally here. The pedo crew. 
They're out here performing for you. They want their dicks in your hand. So you better start grabbing and rubbing around. They're the concrete. He's a pedophile and you don't want him near you. He's got large abs and a large dick too. So you might want to back off before he grabs you. He's got a gun, which is also his dick. So it's gonna hurt your monkey fray. He's the first member of the pedo crew. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. Remember to like if you enjoyed and double tap the subscribe button. Wait, no, just subscribe.